Hey guys, let's get right into this simplicity of a complexion. I did my eyes already because I just really wanted to focus on the complexion. I just did some matte shadows. I'm going to just apply on my face the Beautiful Skin Charlotte Tilbury Foundation. I was going to say, why do I want to call this a skin tint? This is the foundation. I'm in the shade 14W. I have a separate video on this. So now that we have our complexion all nice and even out, that's what your foundation, your skin tint, tint to moisturizer is for to help even out your face, the foundation of the makeup. One of my favorite products from Merit Beauty is the Perfecting Complexion Stick. You can use it as a concealer, you can use it all over the face, however you want. I have the shade Sepia. I'm just going to use this just as a shade to give me more coverage, basically like a concealer. It's a tad bit darker. I was going to use it as a contour, but it isn't dark enough, like I chose the wrong color. You can use these as a concealer, foundation, contour. They're basically like multi-use complexion sticks and they have a nice range of colors and the undertones and everything is pretty good. This brand also, it's fragrance free. This is skin safe as well. Cruelty free, vegan, and also recyclable packaging. I really love Merit Beauty. You can find it in Sephora for those who are unfamiliar. I have another video where I use a lot of Merit, Merit products, I will um, link it down below as well. But one thing I love about these complexion sticks is that they blend pretty good. They give you like a seamless blend. Very, very, very buttery. What I'm gonna take, highlighter. This is the Highlighting Balm in Kava. And I'm just going to pop that on the highest points of my face before I do the lighter color to highlight. Pretty, pretty color. Not sticky either, so I love that part. I'm just gonna also take my Perfecting Complexion Stick in the shade Buff. This is like a lighter color. It's pretty warm. And I'm just gonna go ahead, because I want to highlight underneath here. One thing about Merit Beauty's complexion, they're like cream stick products. They're very, very smooth. Um, sometimes with, what I find is that with a stick cream product can be a little stiff. They're very smooth and they blend very well. I'm just going to blend that in with the highlighter, as you can kind of see. So I blended it in with the highlighter. I'm just going to blend it in. So I'm blending in that lighter perfecting that lighter complexion stick with the highlighter I use because I just want it to be really glowy. Well, I would say I want it to be luminous. Luminous is what we're going for. Matte even still in anymore, is it? That it looks like healthy skin. Love it, I did wash my face and you know, do all that good stuff before my makeup on. Is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set under my eye just a little bit of powder, same powder I use in the other one. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder. Very finely milled, great for a airbrush natural setting type of situation. And I like to use a smaller brush. I'm just going right in. As you see, I hit, I hit pan. I love this powder. Go ahead and just use a little bit of bronzer just because I wanted to sculpt my face. You can find this in Sephora as well, Charlotte Tilbury. Bronzer for. Just take my cheek color. It's in the shade Cheeky. I really like these. The best way I love to apply any type of cream blush is I like to go on the back of my hand, which I already have a product here. And I like to warm it up on the back of my hand. I find it that this way you have more control of the product. This brush here, it's from Merit Beauty, and it's like a buffing brush. I think when you apply like a cream um, blush, like a nice dense buffing brush is perfect for it because how palette applies it. And I'm just gonna smile. Just add some color on top of that bronzer. Take the brush, if you want a little bit more like that. So you're not just, you know, on your cheek or wasting product, and you could just reapply a little bit more about this blush it's very very pigment 
has a nice pigment. Everything that I use on my face will be linked down below, even from the eyeshadow, so don't worry. I'm also going to take some of my favorite, favorite brow pomade. I have thick, thick eyebrows, right? I'm really just a hairy person for real. Yeah, I did fill in my brows with the Charlotte Tilbury Micro Brow Cheat. Keep that in mind. But to finish it off, it's always nice to have a brow gel. But this is like a pomade, so you can use it alone. And it really keeps my hairs up all day. The Merit brand is like the perfect, like if you like that minimalist makeup, it's like the perfect brand. I'm just adding a little bit more under eye powder to brighten here. I'm in love with my complexion like I'm in love with how it came out it's luminous it looks healthy this is kind of what you want to go for if you want to go for this if you like that luminous healthy minimalist minimalist look check it out now it's time for Merit lipsticks love lipstick lipstick queen hi this is their signature lightweight lipstick hydrating buildable lipstick with a soft satin finish satin finish color without the heaviness of a traditional lipstick sunflower seed oil that provides a long lasting moisture for a comfortable light as air finish also helps soothe lips it stabilizes vitamin c helps diffuse the appearance of fine lines you also get some anti-aging benefits with these lipsticks Let's go. A lip liner. This is a NYX Espresso lip liner. And first and foremost, I love this packaging. The packaging has weight to it. It's like a really unique packaging. It's not your typical lipstick bullet, you know, type of um, situation here. It's a shade Slip. Really pretty brown, like that color that us deeper skin girls go to. The packaging, it's very luxe, and the lipstick has weight to it, okay? Okay, first thoughts on this lipstick. First and foremost, extremely lightweight, satin finish is really what it is. It also feels like I have nothing on. So what it says on the website is, is giving that for the moment right now. It also has a consistent application. Sometimes lipsticks skip. It also is a color I think that us deeper skin girls can wear alone without my liner. It's a very pretty color and the color is consistent. The lipstick is, is, is it's, it's giving okay oh yes this is it this is the color once again slip I love it if you're looking for a nice everyday nude neutral slip what do you guys think about this lip color what is your opinion on how this color looks how this color is sitting let me know down below in the comments I really like it so with the leftover liner on my lips we're gonna go into the second lipstick shall we this is minimal which speaks their whole entire brand <laughs> still the same really pretty unique lip lipstick it's so pretty gold bullet now this color here is like a mauve type of color we love a good mauve but are there a lot of mauves for darker skin tones no Now this is really pretty. This is pretty too. Between a mauve and a cool tone pink. Minimal, that's this lip color. This lip color is minimal. This is in the shade All Natural. I love the aesthetic of the Merit brand as well. Oh, this is so pretty. What do you guys think? Now, if you're looking for a spring color and you don't want like a bright fuchsia or anything loud, 
this color is really pretty the signature lightweight lipstick by merit and the shade is minimal and then i also put all natural um, merit beauty lip oil on top and it does feel extremely comfortable on the lips lipsticks are 26 dollars, so that's like the, the average cost for lipsticks nowadays right <laughs> if it's not 35 <laughs> i'm gonna just pop take this one off because i want to put the other one back on which is slip guys so the color that i ended up putting back on my lips is the color slip the first color that we tried on in the video it's that neutral i'll call it like a really nice um nude for people of deeper complexions i really love the product if i don't like it i'll be honest about it not only are the lipsticks pretty um with the colors of them and the formula is good but you also get benefits with the product and i'm really happy to see brands um really create lip products or makeup products that are also beneficial to the consumer the customer the client so i really love the lipsticks check them out everything will be linked down below i also have an affiliate link that is linked down below as well for you guys so make sure you check that out also with the lipsticks i think it's really cool that they help the appearance of fine lines on the lips so that's really really nice um i just know working in cosmetics a lot of more mature women they kind of choose the colors that they wear a lot more carefully and also don't like certain things because of their age and they don't want it, they don't want the product sinking and resting in fine lines of the lipsticks and i'm satisfied and thank you merit for gifting me these items and i will see you guys in the next one